just been waffling at the camera for a few minutes and brushing my hair. I feel like Rapunzel, look at that. Um, <laughs> and then waffling. So I've killed it and I'm starting again. So this is why we've got two bits. The back. Yep. Yep. That is not okay. Um, so that's going to be fun. But anyway, good evening because it's, well, it's early morning here, I'm afraid. <sighs> so much for an early night. Uh, right, so to pick up where I left off, we have been researching into, obviously, well, current affairs because. Uh, the way I work, I find that if something doesn't seem quite right to me, then the thing to do is go and look it out, uh, look it out, check it out. Um, in <laughs> I'm just twitching my ear. In part of my uh, counselling studies coursework, I expressed that as you know, um, if you're in a building and the fire alarm goes off, um, do you? You know, and you, you, it's not a drill, or you suspect it's not a drill. Um, do you stand up and go and investigate, or do you sit in the room and burn? Which is, you know, the sensible thing to do is to check it out. And the same goes for health, so the same goes for everything. If in doubt, check it out. So that's my principle when it comes to things in current affairs. It also is a <laughs> very healthy distraction from the current situation. Um, and it feels like the right thing to do. Um, the people that have, uh, from what I understand, from, from, from the information that I've found, the sources that I've been to, um, I was kind of shocked because I was expecting kind of the opposite of what I saw or what I found. Um, now, I don't know how many people that see this will be aware of something called Common Core, which is, as I understand it, the new, or supposed to be, is being rolled out. Certainly it's being used in parts of America. Um, and it's a new way of teaching that changes most of the basic theories that we learned when we were very very young um they're talking well they say from kindergarten up and um the, the principle behind or the apparent principle behind what they were saying makes sense yes we want to build a better world yes we want to enable the world's children as in you know the whole world's children to, to be on a level pegging. We want everyone to have an equal opportunity. Sounds great. But when all of the feedback I can, or one can source from people on the ground seeing this system implemented and the aftermath it seems to bring, um, I can't, I'm, I'm struggling to find anything positive about it. So, to sit and listen to these people who are pushing for this system, um, and these people are, 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 are high level um, executives from past, have had careers up until recent time, from what I remember, very, very recent time. Um, in media corporations, not small ones, big ones, global ones. Um, and when you examine <laughs> the content that these companies are offering, certainly when it's aimed at children, um, <laughs> Times do change, this is very true. Um, however, when my children are mortified at 
something they see on a program aimed at them and i'm not talking blood and guts or anything like that um it was the programs that are aimed at them we all know this always have older cast members um and um they seem this seems to have gone up a notch since the days of saved by the bell and you know all of that stuff <laughs> Um, and my children were horrified enough to come and tell me that they thought something that a young woman was wearing whilst performing a, 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 a the st one of the stars of the show was performing a, a song and dance number with a group of young men um, and they, they, they thought that the clothes were inappropriate and they're um, they then they're not they're not grown up, um, and yeah, so they came to tell me and asked me to come and look, and I looked, and I was horrified, and this is someone who is being put on a pedestal as a role model <laughs> for young girls, and she's cavorting around on stage with not very many clothes on, um, with about five or six young blokes who yeah they've got trousers on but they have bare chests and all that and they're cavorting around on stage it's a tween program then that is unacceptable so if these people are now backing or, or pushing for i think they're behind creating it but i haven't had the chance to find out yet um this new educational system then that is a major cause for concern and we need to be aware of that. Um, my phone's going to die on me and it's what, seven minutes and nine, ten? So yeah, I'm going to go in a moment and I'll, I'll, I'll have to pick up the next one. But that's a bee I've got in my bonnet and that was where I got to yesterday. And the next one is the importance of recognising individual responsibility. As I said yesterday, we have the capacity to feel, we have the capacity to act how we feel is impact it impacts and is impacted by the way we act so as has been said by many 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 professionals in the psychotherapeutic realm you choose what you feel now that like many pearls of wisdom which again is something i'm coming to later um is nowhere near as simple as it sounds. So I would like it if people could go and reflect upon that, that you choose how you feel, you choose what you feel the same as you choose what you do. And what you do, ouch, affects how you feel just as much as how you feel affects what you do. And it is a constant interplay between the two. So yes, that's the thing I'd like people to go and think about today. Plus the fact that People that seem to be making dodgy decisions about what should be in children's TV and now deciding what they should be learning. That's a little bit scary. Just those two for now. I'll catch you later. Bye.